Hello everyone. In this video today, I would like to talk about the center node that I've designed for my house. If you do not already know what a center node is, you can think of it as a small little box that collects information about the environment, like a mini weather station. So in my case, I would like to collect information about the house, the room, the ambient, such as brightness, humidity, temperature, as well as motion. There are two reasons why I'm doing it myself. The first reason is that off-the-shelf solutions are normally quite expensive and I can't afford to buy too many of them to monitor the whole house. And secondly, I would like to have the center node well integrated with my existing infrastructure that I've deployed for the home automation project that I'm involved with. So nothing is actually stored in the cloud. Everything is stored in the local servers in my house. And most of you already know the Raspberry Pi as well as the Arduino platform. The reason why I'm not using any of this is that for the Raspberry Pi is quite costly and it's actually an uh, overkill to do basic uh, monitoring with it. And for the Arduino, it doesn't come with the Wi-Fi module, so it's quite troublesome if we have to lay cable around the house. And that is actually not feasible. So the platform that I've chosen to use is the Node MCU which is basically a Wi-Fi module using the ESP8266 and uh, the sensors that I pick up, they are all easily available online I actually bought them online or you can buy them uh, from any electronic shop so DHT11 for temperature and uh, relative humidity sensing PSL2561 for luminosity and the PIR motion sensing so PIR basically sends for passive infrared what happens is that when a heated body like a human or animal, when we move around, we actually release infrared signals which can be picked up by this sensor. The first thing I did was to acquire all the sensors as well as the Wi-Fi module. And then I connected them and I write some simple code so that it reads the sensor information and publish it into the MQTT broker that is hosted in my local server. Here is the 3D model that I drew up in Fusion 360. As you can see, it is a nice little enclosure where all the sensors and the Wi-Fi module are sitting inside it. Let us first have a look at the bottom part. So this is the, the bottom part. You can see that it is powered by a uh, USB cable so that this uh, micro USB cable attached and then the ESP8266 is located on the left side of the bottom enclosure while the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor is located on the right side and now let me bring back the top again there's uh, two holes up there so the bigger one is for the motion sensor and the smaller one is for the luminosity sensor as this is the first time I'm doing 3D design, I'm still not very familiar with the software as well as the processors and I want to keep things as simplified as possible. If we look at the, at the top part, you can see that the motion sensor as well as the luminosity sensors, uh, they have to be either taped or glued to the enclosure. So you have seen the 3D model just now and finally I got it 3D printed so here it is it is uh, quite nice I would say however there are a couple of legs uh, broken over here because I did not give it enough clearance and uh, when they close together they are too tight and they actually tend to break off and also I had to file the sides a little bit because um, there's not enough space so I need to uh, give it more clearance so that the sensor can actually fit inside and so now uh, let's see uh, how, how we can place the sensor the broken parts are still okay because uh, it does not actually affect the functionality much 
And so the first thing I should do is to put in the Wi-Fi module. With the two legs broken, it is uh, actually quite uh, simple to put it in. And then now I need to put the um, humidity and temperature sensor at the side here. So, okay, now it can fit in quite well, I would say. Humidity sensor, so I will just use a tape to tape it up. I know this is not the best way to do it, but uh, in the future I will definitely put a clip up so that uh, these don't need to be glued together. So this is our sensor now. USB cables go in here. This is the motion sensor. It fits quite well. This is the luminosity sensor and uh, temperature and humidity sensor is sitting in nicely. So I'm quite happy with it, considering that uh, this is my first time uh, actually doing uh, 3D design. Alright, thank you very much for watching the video. And if you are interested to set this up, you can uh, download the uh, code and instruction on GitHub that I'll be uploading soon. And you can also download the CAD files that I've uploaded to Thingiverse. All the links can be found below the video.